Hey everyone, it is me, Andre here. Today I have another episode of F123 My Team Career Mode. This is episode number 25 today, and we have the Brazilian Grand Prix. We might do the last Vegas Grand Prix. Right now, we are leading the championship by 51 points. So, if Lewis Hamilton wins two races and the sprint, and I have two bad races, and uh, I don't get into points for like none, I am, I can say finished. Cause, yeah, I would uh, not have anything to help. But Abu Dhabi is something that Lewis Hamilton knows how to do, definitely, and we get Charles Leclerc as our rival, but Abu Dhabi is not the best track, I don't really like it, I feel like there's not many places to overtake, it's just not my favorite track, and I mean I rather the others, a lot of the others, but since it ends in Abu Dhabi in real life, it's like you cannot just oh Abu Dhabi doesn't exist anymore. Uh, I just try to make it as realistic as possible. Which here we get two new. We are going to get two new upgrades. If I can get another one, maybe. Uh, there's a cheap one. Okay, 800. We'll do this then. We'll have three. Uh, we are doing a lot of upgrades, actually. And we are getting close to Alfa Romeo in, like, the best car and stuff. We have Brazil, Las Vegas, and Abu Dhabi left. No, I think there's another one. Oh, there's Portimao. I forgot about Portimao. Oh, yeah, because after this is Portimao. So we could do Brazil and maybe Portimao in this episode. I could also do just Brazil, but yeah. The engine is all right. So, yeah, let's get into qualifying. And here we go. Our first lap is... What will? Uh, I don't know why, so it's not actually coming. Oh, what? Okay, so we're gonna come in the garage as I went wide in turn one. Uh, we can simulate. We are a second ahead of Lewis Hamilton. Um. This should be good. And here we go. Are we going to get fastest? Yes, we are. So we're through to Q3. Yuki Tino is P13. So he's knocked out. And oh, before we end the lap, we go wide. That is bad. We're going to use DRS. And hope we can get some something and 116. And oh, no, no, no. Oh, last one good. P8. P8. And this is probably bad now. And I get spun. My only option is to return. Because I have damage. And. Let the front wing be repaired. I'm not going to use these tires, so I can have for the sprint and for the race. So I am going to use these tires over here. Uh, from Q1. As I am losing grip, I am going wide in a lot of corners. And I'm in P11, which is not good, but his last place in Q3. 
And if this happens, Lewis Hamilton will have a chance. Right now, Lewis Hamilton is not in this lower spot. I hope he's not P1 because that would be very bad. And you cannot go wide in turn one. And the brake, he cut a little bit, but we have a spin. And we go wide in the next corner. Oh no. I just can't get the Brazilian circuit for some reason. Oh no. I'm not really driving this circuit. What is going on with my car? I was fast in Q1 and Q2. I cannot be this low. In Q3, I go wide. Hit the barrier. And we're gonna have to cut a corner. In very black car. It's done. P11 is bad. It is very bad, guys. As Lewis Hamilton is on P1. And he gets pulled to Mercedes 1 2, which is even worse. No, Mercedes 1 2 for Quali. Can we get them back in the race and the sprint? If we can, I am going to be happy. Very happy. Because I want to fight for that constructor championship. If I can win everything. That is left, four races, and one sprint. Oh, that was bad. Oh, we're 49 points away, guys. So we need to win races. We need to win sprint. Or at least try. I mean, it's going to be hard to win a sprint where I cannot really drive. If I can win all of these races coming, we have five in a row. Win streak. Plus, we're gonna have that chance to win both the drivers and the constructors. Looks like it's gonna be a hard ending in uh, uh, Abu Dhabi. If we go, if we keep going with this pace that we had in Q3, and Lewis Hamilton tops. Yeah, to be fair, I just let's skip this and I'll show you the grid for the race after. Okay, soft tires P12 for some reason, probably a glitch. It's right out and away we go. We get a good start on the outside. Oh, oh, so many cars! I give the lead and overtake and. We give all the places back for some reason. And there is a car going slow. For now we are doing bad, but please do his Hamilton is in P13. He's not leading. No, not in P13, in P3. Can we get past Joe? We're gonna try the outside onto the inside. And uh, we can all go on, knock on, we spin. Joe gets us back. And there is a Haas who gets past, but we are back in P13, we're spinning, our tires are not doing well, but you go on the inside on Joe, we cannot get past Ocon in this race. We are just not winning the constructors, neither the driver standing, so we can do if we keep going with this pace. That is bad. Albon overtakes and Joe and also Tsunoda are both fighting for my position. We're going slow. Joe Guan Yu gets fast and we're gonna try the inside. Which we go for, we slow a little and we get P13. And now, can we get past? Uh, all album down the inside of the house and now we're in P12 and album just ahead no Ocon just ahead on the inside faster sector 2 and another overtake now can you get into the top 10 
and we won't have DRS. I will have no DRS. And here we go. We're in the final lap of the sprint. And that is the fastest lap of the sprint. Uh, then we have an 18 lap race. And we're going to be starting in P6 as of now. If some cars have penalties, that's different. We're three seconds behind Max Verstappen, so I don't think we will get P5. But we're still doing good. And okay, so we're gonna be with three points. Lewis Hamilton gets P2. No, sorry, P3. Charles Leclerc wins the sprint. So you're gonna be in a fight against all of them. Yeah, P6. Um, since we started P11, pretty good. This is a track where you can't really overtake a lot. Um, and uh, yeah, let's get into this race. So, with that, Lewis Hamilton is 48 points ahead. So if he wins and I don't get into the points, that is going to be a problem as you will have three more races in the season. Now, since we are done, let's get into the grid for this race. Formula One returns to Interlagos once again with a stage set for what promises to be another classic Sao Paulo Grand Prix. Sebastian Vettel famously clinched his third championship here in 2012 and just four years later Max Verstappen treated us to one of the finest wet weather drives of all time. We're racing today then at Interlagos, a historic 2.7 mile circuit and one of the few anti-clockwise tracks on the calendar. 15 corners in total, 9 to the left and 6 to the right with a technical middle section opening up to a flat out sector 3. That gives us our best passing opportunity down into turn one. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. A fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday, and it's put him on pole. And starting next to them is George Russell. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Verstappen, the owner driver, Sainz, Ahas, Norris, Gasly, Ocon, Albon, Joe, Oscar Piastri, Sonoda, Liam Lawson, Bottas, Halger, Drogovic, Holkenberg, Sargent, De Vries, Hamilton. With preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. And alongside me once again for coverage of today's race is none other than the great Anthony Davidson. Let's have a chat about Williams. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. 
here we go. We're gonna have a hard Grand Prix and it lights out. And away we go in Sao Paulo. And we make contact with Kevin Magnussen, Checo Perez. We go overtake, down the inside and we go wide. And oh no, that is bad. Uh, this is bad as we are on P10. It is very bad. We cannot just go wide in a corner like that. Oh, I almost spun. Uh, we need to be quick in this track, is all I know. Can we get past Esteban Ocon? We go into the wall and we almost crash. That was bad. So we're gonna have to go on the inside here and we break Gasly's front wing. Yeah, what an IQ strategy and we break his front wing and we break our side. We cannot lose a Grand Prix like that. But I had no grip for some reason and we're gonna have to retire. Uh who wins then? It's Mercedes now. If it's Lewis Hamilton, okay, at least it's George Russell, not Lewis. Bro, he started in last and he got P7. No, hey, dude. No. He cannot just close the gap now. 41 points is the difference. I know 41 points is a lot. But there's three races, guys. He can get much more than 45 points. 41, sorry. That is bad. Bad. No. No, I think he has more. How close is he? I think he has 41 away. George Russell gets past Lewis Hamilton. That's even worse. I see six points ahead. Oh, no. 32. Is the gap with that 32 and we have the Portuguese Grand Prix coming up and I'm just gonna do it in this episode yeah because of the DNF we cannot DNF like this guys but we're gonna go into qualifying for the Portuguese Grand Prix and here we go Q1 in Portimao we get a 119.6. We have destroyed anyone, anyone here. I have absolutely destroyed everyone. And I hope Mercedes have a bad weekend so I can win the championship. 32 points. Now, if I win this race, and Mercedes have bad weekend, I can win the championship here. And if Russell and uh, Lewis have bad weekend, we're done. We could win the championship. But there is also Lando Norris, who is coming close. So we need him to have another bad weekend. But yeah, here we go into Q2, which we will need inters, I believe. Yes, we do need inters. Okay, guys, so. And we get a 126, which will make me return to the garage. And yeah, we should keep P1. We should. We should. We should. Uh, is there rain? No. I have to say yes. But okay. Um, in Q3, there could be like normal conditions. But I stay P1. That is brilliant. Um, 
Now, uh, first thing, oh no, we have fault. That is bad. And the Mercedes have passed. I will skip repair time. Okay. It is bad there. If the cooling system has a problem, but it's uh, something you, you will have once. But okay, uh, I'm just trying to find a way to do what. The rain is still coming, and in 15 minutes it will be normal. But 15 minutes is a good amount of time. So we're gonna have to go with hunters. We need to get pole position here, guys. Come on. And here we go, we're gonna see our lap. And that is a 131. Looks like it's pole position. The pole. Yes, it is. Let's go. It's me versus Lewis Hamlin versus George Russell in turn one. So, it's gonna be hard. So, let's get into this race. Welcome along then to Portimao, one of the busiest towns in the Algarve and a breathtaking destination that brings tourists from all around the world to the shores of southern Portugal. Today, it's the backdrop for the latest round of the Formula One World Championship. And with a circuit this wide, we could be in for a lot of exciting wheel-to-wheel -wheel action today. So Portimao features 15 turns over the course of its 2.9 mile length. Nine are right-handers, six are to the left. This is a track with a lot of uphill action, which only accentuates the importance of getting those exits right, especially at turn four, where a good line can present opportunities to pass on the way into turn five. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. It's the owner driver then in pole position. And it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Russell, Perez, Gasly, Oscar Piastri, Albon, Bottas, Drogovic, Liam Lawson, Hulkenberg, Leclerc, Sainz, Norris, Verstappen, Magnussen, Ocon, Joe, Sonoda, Halger, De Vries, Sergeant, now it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. It's race day yet again, and joining me for a chat is Natalie Pinkham. Now our racers are certainly in for a rough day today. What will you be watching for as they go down into turn one? There has been an exponential growth in the popularity of Formula One, and it is fantastic to see. This is the glue that's bonding families together. This is the talking point on a Sunday afternoon as they sit round and watch the race as a unit. I love the fact that people are starting to appreciate the various nuances of the sport. The fact there are so many layers to it. This is the cutting edge of technology. But there's also so much personality and sacrifice, personal sacrifice, that gets drivers and race teams where they are today.
and down the inside we go inside he backs out but he gets us back and we're gonna take the outside line to overtake sorry george russell leads the grand prix and we are in p22 and yeah that colla that collision was badass it's funny and the spin didn't help at all obviously down the inside you go on joe we overtake joe go on you and i'm gonna have to try to get a big comeback now can we go on nick de vries down the inside we go on nick de vries sergeant and hauger triple overtake let's go p18 now to Noda, please let us through Please let us through to Noda. Don't, I didn't say spin me, I said let me through. Don't just spin me. But okay. Can we get Ocon? Now in this very low speed corner. And he is 1.2 seconds ahead. Can we gain the time we need? Now we're in the final corner of lap two. Lewis Hamilton has the fastest lap. And I prefer Lewis Hamilton overtaking Russell than Russell leading, because Russell is closer to me. And now, can we get past Ocon down the inside? You go on Ocon. P16. Can we get past Charlie Claire? This has been a great uh, comeback. And there is a Ferrari ahead of Verstappen. What are these cars doing here? But anyway, can we overtake? And we are faster. Definitely faster. On the inside, you go on Charles Leclerc. And you get past. We are doing great. Right now. Now we're gonna have to try to use the ERS we have. And I should, we should have ER, DRS, yes. We do, can we get past Max Verstappen? He's gonna defend it. And we're gonna have to break late. So I can get the overtake. Down the inside on car sides and on Valtteri, Valtteri Bottas. Now we're gonna have DRS on Lando Norris get us to p11 as this has been crazy down the inside on lando norris p11 already look at the progress we are doing can we get past hulkenberg around the outside into the inside and that's another overtake now magnuson is ahead and he is a second ahead And yeah, let's try to overtake him. We're gonna try to get past Magnuson, as I said. We're gonna have the ERS also, plus DRS, but we're gonna save it for now. So we can have extra speed with both ERS and DRS. We get ERS to get us going, we use it. And we're gonna go on the inside of Kevin Magnussen. We make contact, but we're in P9. And down the inside on Dragovic. We have the fastest lap, by the way. We're gonna use DRS again. And we're gonna get past Liam Lawson. He might switch it back. Yes, he does. We're gonna use ERS now to get past him and we're ahead now Alex Albon is right ahead of us to get into P6 we have a little spin but we save it Piasti is 5 seconds ahead of me and we need to be quick if you want to get a better place can we get past Albon 
not in this corner, but the half is pretty slow. So we will probably overtake with DRS. And we are saving the overtake mode. And we will start using it when we get DRS. And we get DRS and DRS and look how we go past Albon. We are four seconds behind Oscar P. Astri. So yeah. So guys, my tires are getting warm. So I have decided to pit, go for hards, go for an undercut and go for the best. Uh, yeah, as you can see, my tires are way too warm and they have tire wear. So I think it's for the best to box and we're gonna be last probably actually we're gonna be ahead of Sari yup we're gonna be just ahead of Sari and we're gonna have to try to use grip and we're gonna have to try to gain time regain time means we're going for an undercut and that's what we need we need to go for the undercut in order to get past uh, Piastri, Perez, and Charclair, obviously, then I will be challenge Mercedes. And <clears throat> before the box, I'm at Logan Starter or Drogo on you. I am going to be very happy because I will probably be close to Mercedes. And we're gonna probably overtake the Vries in maybe the next corner. The corner after it then. So we're gonna try to find a way past with the Vries in the straight. Cause we cannot lose time because of him. We have to overtake him quickly. And that's what we do. Now we are gaining on Joe on you. And we're quicker than Joe. We're gonna go for it on the inside. And if I can get Hauger, that would be very nice. And I will also have DRS. But I have also spun a little. That doesn't help but on the inside of Logan Sargent and we overtake there is Shinoda and Hauger about 3 seconds ahead so we're gonna try to go for them and gain even more time yeah Ooh, we have a little spin this is the thing of Portugal you keep spinning in a lot of the corners especially if you're on controller like I am Pierre Gasly is out of the Grand Prix. He had a nice Grand Prix. And look at us gaining on Hauger or Hauger or I don't know how to pronounce it. But Pierre Gasly has pulled up on the side. That puts us up to P18. And again, nobody has pitted. We're gonna try to go for Hauger. We have the fastest lap. Can we overtake Hauger in this next corner? We're gonna go on the inside of Hauger. And we will have DRS on Yuki Tsunoda, our teammate. He lets us through. Okay, that's not gonna be anything for me because I'm ahead of Joe. P16, by the way. That's great. And... Fast sector 1. Ocon is 2 seconds ahead. Then there's Leclerc not ahead of... Not a lot of ahead of them. This is incredibly amazing, guys. In this 
place. We are probably going to be in the place we are in before. Yes, before everyone goes. If this keeps happening. But PS3 and the Mercedes pit, we will probably overtake them. We overtake a lot of cars. We're gonna use DRS and DRS combined. We get the fastest lap. We overtake the McLaren of Oscar Piastri and we're gonna go fight Hamilton as he is just ahead of us. He just two seconds ahead of me, which will go down. But I won't have DRS and Luke Hamilton will have DRS, I think. Will we go for the overtake? No. But we're gonna try to overtake him in this next corner. We're gonna... Now, this is our chance on Hamilton. We're trying the inside. Here we go wide and we have to give him the place back. But that's not a big problem for me. The problem is that we lose time from science, but we'll get it back. As actually, he has not pitted, so yeah, it's not going to be bad for me. As you go on the inside of Hamilton, he blocked us. We spin a little, we, we make contact, but Hamilton still keeps his place. This is turning out to be a big fight, which might lose me. P1 or P2 from George Russell can we use DRS. We overtake Hamilton before DRS. We use DRS to get past Albon. Are we going to get past George Russell? Who's right ahead of us? We go around the outside and we overtake George Russell. And we lead the Portuguese. Oh my. That is great, guys. We lead the Portimao Grand Prix. Wow, what some overtakes, but we go wide. Which is not the best. And George Russell and Hamilton both overtake me. Which leads me to get past Hamilton again. Can we go on the inside of George Russell? Who spins us? And Lewis Hamilton. Is just behind me now. We're gonna have to try to go on Georgie. And can we get past? No. He keeps the plates. If you touch the curb here, you lose it. You spin. I don't know. You just keep spinning and stuff here in Portmau. We're gonna use DRS. We get past Lando Norris. We get past Sergio Perez. And now we're in P2. And you need to know the pits. We're gonna try to go over to George though. Which will we we will have DRS on George Russell. And ERS. And we go on the inside and we crash into George Russell. And oh no. This is bad. We keep the place, but... Yeah, a crash and all of that is not the best. And we lose grip. Which leads us to go wide. And we collide with Hamilton. This is turning out to be a horrendous race. As we go wide again. Damage is bad here in Portugal. And oh no! Oh no! Oh, I knew something bad was going to happen. We went way too fast. We collide with Hamilton again. As we're gonna use DRS. Or at least I hope. Will we use it? No, we won't. And that is very bad. As yeah, we're gonna spin here. Probably. So we keep going like this. That was bad. How did I even hit George like that? We can all do that. And these corners are high speed, low speed. You have to turn a lot. And that led us to losing it. It is bad. 
very bad. Go a little bit wide. We use D, R, S, and E, R, S, and oh no, we break way too late. And we're gonna try to go in and lose Hamilton. Is he out? No, 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 no. No, no, Hamilton is out. Box. We have to box. Box for socks is our only option. Yeah, and change the front wing. It is gonna be bad. It is gonna be bad. It is gonna be very, very, very bad. And we're gonna lose places, but that's the only option. We have to pit. If we don't pit, yeah, it's bad. I was losing way too much grip hitting Hamilton and George. So guys, yeah, we had to pit. Hamilton also pits. And uh, yeah, this would probably be the last lap of safety car. No, 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 no. No, don't tell me let Hamilton through. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We're almost got the overtake. Now the thing is, I and Hamilton have soft tires and the new front wing. So that is good but bad, as obviously George just leads the Grand Prix. And with that, he would be eight points ahead of me, behind me in the championship, and I think Hamilton would stay 42 points, but. Seven is scary as you will have two more races. If I win here, I think I win the championship. Not sure about this. But. And here we go. There we go. We start. And. Uh, yeah. So well, that is the start, I guess. We go wide, we make contact, we overtake, we overtake Alpine and Leclerc. We won't have DRS because DRS is not enabled. We can get past Bottas if we try to go on the inside. What? What? Oh, we dodged that. Oh, oh my god, we dodged that. Oh. Oh, that was scary. What did Landon Norris do? He's fun. That was scary. We just dodged that. And he also goes past Verstappen with that. So thank you, Lando. But then, yeah, look at the cash now between me and Dragovic. At least we're in P8. Now we have Dragovic right ahead of me. We get past him. We're in P7. Now can we get past Liam Lawson? We will go on the inside if we can. No, we can't. Next corner is some place to overtake. The next corner is to lose us. Put us into the wall and we lose our front wing. Again. Thank you, Carl Floyd. Thank you, Carl Floyd. How do you feel? Okay. What am I supposed to do? The cash? Multiple times? I don't know. No. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I had no grip. We cannot. No, we didn't just have two DNFs. I hate Liam Lawson. I hate Liam Lawson. That is very bad. No, guys. And... Williams? Lo oh, Liam Lawson? What? Oh, he got P4! Where is... Wait, where is George Russell? 
Can you go to the Let's go! Oh my god! Yes, I love Liam Mawson. I love Tenolda. I love Sargent. I love Hauger. I love all the cars who overtook Hamilton and George Russell. Oh my god, guys. That is crazy. This means if we get something in the Las Vegas Grand Prix, we are champions. <sighs> I mean, Liam Lawson, to be fair, crashed us and helped us. Because of the crash, Russell didn't win. Oh my, oh my. That is crazy. Oh my guys, that is crazy. It's incredible. Liam Lawson just saved me. Like, actually saved me. He may have saved our. He may have won me the championship. Who knows? He may have actually won me the championship. If you guys enjoyed, I'll see you later and goodbye.